Hello everyone, this tutorial is about lists in Python. By the end of this tutorial, you will get all the information about the lists in Python. So the lists are nothing but a collection type in Python. Lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable. They are ordered, changeable and also allow duplicate values. Lists are indexed, so the first item has the index starting from 0. Now let's talk about creating a list. So in order to create a list, you have two methods. One is by using uh, squared brackets. So if you simply use square brackets like this and if you run this, you will see empty list is getting created for you. Now if you want to create a list with elements inside it, then you can simply use it like this. You have to pass an element comma separated and it will create a list with those elements for you like this as you can see in the output uh, there is another way to create a list is by using a list function so if you just use the list function it will create an empty list for you like this and if you want to pass in the elements while creating the list you can use it by enclosing them in the circular brackets and using comma separated values and it will create the list containing those elements for you and as you can notice here lists are containing multiple data types so it is allowed in python that list can have many data types as you want so in this case we have string boolean and integer all three are inside one list so this is about creating a list now let's see how to access the list item so as i said the list items are indexed so indexing starts from zero so if i pass in zero then i'll get apple as output as you can see here now suppose if i want to get the element at the third index then i'll pass in three and you can see it will print mango now suppose if i want to get the last element of the list you can just pass in minus one this is also called as negative indexing and it will give you the last element of the list as you can see here in the output now suppose if you want to get elements between certain values then you can use list slicing so it is done by using colon like this suppose i do the slicing like this then it will include the element which is present at this position and it will not include the element which is present at this position so from first from one to three it will give all the elements so in this case banana orange and mango will be included in this list so as you can see in the output banana orange and mango are included in this particular list so as we seen earlier if i pass in minus one i'll get the last element of the list so if i want to get the second last element of the list i'll pass in minus two and it will give you the second last element of the list so similarly if you want to slice by using negative indexing you can also do that so suppose if i pass in minus 5 colon minus 2 then in this case the fifth last position is banana and second last position is kiwi so i'll get all the elements including banana and not kiwi so i'll get banana orange and mango in this case so as you can see in the output i get those three elements so you need to remember during slicing the leftmost index is included and the rightmost index is not included so this is about accessing the list item now let's check how to update the list items for updating the list item you just need to pass in the index and you have to assign the new value to it in this case i'm updating the first element of the list to be berry instead of apple so in this case the apple will be replaced by berry in the list as you can see in the output so suppose if i want to update the last element of the list as berry then the lemon will be replaced by berry in the list as you can see in the output now suppose if i want to update a range of items from 1 to 3 that means banana and kiwi i want to update then i need to pass two values so i'll pass in melon as the second value and you have to enclose them in a list so in this case banana and kiwi will get replaced by berry and melon in the list so as you can see 
in the output these two values are getting replaced so this is how you update the list now let's talk about adding new items to the list so for adding the new items to the list we have two different methods one is append another is insert so if you use append method it will simply append the element which is mentioned at the end of the list so as you can see in the output the melon gets added at the end of the list so if you want to add the element at a specific position in the list then you can use insert function and you have to pass in the index where you want to insert and you have to pass in the name of the element so in this case lemon gets inserted at the second position that is right after banana in this case as you can see in the output lemon gets inserted after banana which is at the second position so this is about adding the new items to the list now let's see how to remove the items from the list so for removing the list items we have different methods the first one is by using list dot remove method and passing in the element which you want to remove so it will simply remove this particular element from the list and as you can see in the output it removes the first element that is apple from the list we have another method for removing the list elements it is list.pop and you have to pass in the index which you want to remove from the list so in this case i am passing 2 as index so it will remove the kiwi from the list so as you can see kiwi is removed from the list and we have another method for removing the elements that is del method and simply passing in the list and its index so in this case i am removing the first element of the list so it will simply remove the first element and return the rest of the list now suppose if you want to delete the entire list then you can simply use del and the list name it will remove the entire list for you so in this case if i run this it will give me an error saying that fruits is not defined this is because i have deleted the entire list so if you just want to delete all the elements from the list and keep the list intact then we can use clear method in this case if you use a list dot clear it will just remove all the elements from the list but it will keep the list intact and it will return the empty list for you as you can see in the output so this is about removing the list item now let's talk about looping over a list so for looping over a list we have two different ways using the for loop so for fruit in fruits and you can simply print the fruit so the fruit is basically a single element in the list so it will loop over all the elements and it will print one by one all the elements as you can see in the output so this is one of the way of looping over a list another method is by using indexing you can use it like this for i in range length of fruits and print the fruits at ith position it will print the same thing for you so this is about looping over the list now let's talk about list comprehension list comprehension is nothing but it offers a shorter syntax when you want to create a new list based on the values of existing list so it has syntax like this first is expression then for item in iterable then if condition is true now suppose if i have a list here of containing fruits and if i want to get a fruit which has letter a inside them then i can simply use it like this i will loop over the fruits and i will simply put an if condition if a in fruit and then i will append it to the second list and if i print this i will get apple and banana because they have letter a inside them so instead of using this longer loop we can simply use list comprehension like this and it will give me the same result as you can see in the output so this syntax goes like this the expression that is x for x in fruits and the condition that is if a present in x so this gives simpler version and it offers the shorter syntax instead of using a longer for loop now suppose if i want to get yes and no instead of the fruit name if fruit name contains letter a then i can use it like this that is this will be my entire expression and then for x in fruit so my condition is like i'll print yes if letter a is present in the x else i'll print no so in this case list 2 will contain yes and no values based on our condition that is if letter a is present in the 
name of the fruit so as you can see it prints yes for apple and banana and no for other fruits because they don't have letter a in them so this is about the list comprehension now let's see how to sort a list for sorting the list we have list dot sort method it will simply sort it in the alphanumerical order so as you can see the we have the sorted list now by default list dot sort method sorts in the ascending order if you want to sort it in the descending order then you can simply use list dot sort and inside that you have to pass in reverse equals to true that means it will sort it in the descending order so as you can see in the output it will sort it has sorted in the reverse order so this is about sorting the list now let's see how to reverse a list so in order to reverse a list we have two methods one is list dot reverse it will simply give a reversed list of the current list and another method is by using slicing we need to pass in colon colon minus 1 so that it will give a reversed list of the current list as you can see in the output so these are the two methods to reverse a list now let's see how to copy a list so if you want to copy a list and you simply use list2 equals list1 then it will just create a reference of list1 in the list2 so if any operation you perform on the list2 it will be performed on the list1 as well so in this case if i perform list2.pop it will remove the last element from the list2 but it will also remove it from the list1 since list2 is just a reference to the list1 so in this case the same operation will be performed on the both the list and the last element gets removed from the both the list so in order to avoid this you can use list dot copy method so this will create entirely a new list for you so in this case if i use list2 dot pop then it will remove the last element from the list2 only it will not perform the same operation on the list1 because both are now separate lists so in this case list1 remains intact and last element from the list2 gets removed so another method to copy a list is by using list function and passing in the list name so in this case if i use list2 is equal to list of list1 then it will create a new list and if i perform any operation on the list2 it will not be performed on the list1 so as you can see as you can see if i run this it will give me a list with the last element removed from the list2 and the list1 remains intact so this is about how to copy a list now let's see how to join a list so in order to join a list you can simply use add operator in between them and it will simply create a joined list for you as you can see in the output another way of joining the list is by using extend method so if you use list1.extend list2 then the list2 elements will be added to list1 and list1 will become list with the five elements as you can see in this example so this is about how you can join the list now let's talk about how to count the number of occurrences of a particular element in the list so in this case i have a list with the integers I want to find out how many times 3 appears in the list. So as you can see 3 is appearing twice in the list. So if I want to find out then I will simply use list.count method and simply pass in the element which I want to count and in this case it will give me 2 as output since 3 is appearing twice. And if I pass in 2 then it will give me 3 as output because element 2 is appearing 3 times in the list so this is how you count the occurrences of element in the list so that's all about the lists in python i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you found this video helpful please like this video and comment down below and subscribe for more such python tutorials in near future thank you for watching